all right so today we're going to be doing a review of this Autel Maxi TPMS ITS 600 this is the pro model it, act, it actually has the diagnostic uh, functionality built in as well usually that's an extra uh, but um, this one here came with it uh, so fortunately I was able to get that uh, as you can see it you know this is the thickness of it um, I mean it's a you know nice size it's not too big it's not too small it's got a built-in camera it has a built-in flashlight on it I really like it I, I like the uh, way it looks so um, yeah it's a good thing and then this is the uh, VCI the maxi VCI VC 200 so uh, these are I'm gonna kind of do just a brief demonstration of this on this truck here then after that I'm gonna go back and kind of show you a couple of vehicles that I've done with it um, and kind of give you some scenarios so first when you're turning it on I just press the button right here on the side and you can see this is what it looks like booting up so it runs on Android I think it's Android 9.0 uh, very high resolution screen this is actually a pretty high resolution screen but I guess as time goes on you know the technology gets cheaper and they can put it in diagnostic tools so it's really nice so as you can see here you have several menu options uh, TPMS diagnostics like I said with the diagnostics that is uh, an additional thing that you'd pay for uh, so each of the, each one of these vehicles uh, you, you can actually connect to them uh, along with EOBD uh, EOBD um, I won't really use this but it's there if you need it um, battery test so there's actually another dongle you can buy that has a, a battery test feature a feature in it and you can connect to it um, connect it to the battery via the positive and negative cable and do a test through that uh, I personally wouldn't need it I already have that um, functionality in another tester um, you can go tire DOT test that allows you to look at the tires DOT number on the tire and it'll look at that number and go into its database and actually see uh, not only how old it is but also uh, if there's any recalls on it um, there's a service menu so for example you could do basic services that um, some vehicles require such as an oil reset uh, BMS for battery readaptations uh, brake bleed that's a good one after treatment for diesels uh, immobilizer keys um, there's a few tests in there that might be useful to somebody um, odometer these are just a few things that Autel has that, that they've put in here um, so make sure you get a good shot of that so these are the different things so it's pretty good um, another thing that this tester also has uh, is it has a I think it's under toolkit where you can go in and you can read the RFID um, I mean not the RFID you can actually read your keys signal strength okay so you see I actually pushed it in my pocket <laughs> let's see if I can get it so for example I can press the button on my key and you'll see it did transmit let me see another vehicle I'm not sure if this one did or not yeah so you can see uh, this 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 truck my uh, key fob battery is dead in it so as you can see it does not work uh, but that's a nice little tool to have um, there's a, a few other things in here uh, sleep park mode I think that's for the actual sensors so I mean it does a few things uh, for what it is I mean it's, it's 
mostly for TPMS, but it can be used for other things as well. Um, so yeah, so I just I'm just gonna give you a brief um, scan of this truck. Then I'm gonna show you a few things that I've done with it, and we will go from there. Okay, so basically this is the VCI um, V200. This actually uh, uses Bluetooth to connect to the tablet, the Maxi TPMS tablet. Uh, I'll use this to uh, pull data from my OBD2 system on the vehicle, and then I will uh, pull data into this and then begin from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect this to the truck, and let's see what, what happens. So I'm going to open the truck, connect to the OBD2 module, our OBD2 port. As you can see, it lights up, and it allows us to connect to it. So now we're going to put our key in the ignition. Now the vehicle is booting up all of its computer systems. We're going to press the TPMS button and see what happens. So now we do have a blue light that shows there's a connection with the uh, Bluetooth module. And as you can see, there's like a little green light right there on the screen. It automatically detects the VIN number. So we're going to click OK. Now it's decoding that information. So now it brings us to this menu. So I guess it's kind of trying to figure out exactly what we're connecting to. It knows it's either a Dodge or Chrysler. So um, I'm going to hit that. And I'm going to put the year is a 2014, so that's going to be a 400 megahertz system. In the TPMS world, there's two frequencies. There's a 315 megahertz and a 433 megahertz. So on this truck here, you'll see that it is a 433 megahertz system. So I'm going to hit that. And now everything is filled out. Uh, what's neat about this is it, it, use, it can use the camera to scan the VIN number off the door, uh, but since it pulled it off the OBD2 port, we're just going to go with that. So now we're going to hit OK. So now we can go ahead and just start scanning our uh, tire sensors. So uh, I'm going to hit OK on this screen. And we're going to delete any existing checking data. So now we have a menu option here that, uh, or a menu option, there's actually a screen here that lets us see it. And what's really cool is you can see what your battery voltage is at any given time, so I like that. But um, So you can see right here is saying your first vehicle is the left front tire. So you can go to any of these tires, though. You don't have to start with the left front tire. But we'll just start with the front left tire. So we'll just go here. And the way these TPMS systems work, if you don't know already is that uh, these are not regular just regular straighter valves that you can put air in there's actually a sensor behind the valve and uh, that allows uh, the the computer inside the truck to read the values coming off of this sensor I believe it's every 60 seconds I believe or 30 seconds or 60 seconds I can't remember but um, basically once we put this near it and click trigger it will pull the data off the sensor so we're gonna wake it up so as you can see uh, the system has um, woken up and we can see that it's 74 pounds of pressure almost 75 pounds of pressure in this tire um, and at 400 33 megahertz we knew that and the battery is okay and we're at 82 degrees so so far this looks good uh, there's no problems so it now it just tells us to go to the other tire and do the same thing so we're gonna go to this tire and try to wake it up okay so on this tire here, it is 76 uh, PSI, uh, 82 pounds, I'm sorry, 76 pounds, 82 degrees. 
and we can go to e each tire and do the same thing one thing I notice is that you kind of have to look in the door and see what the actual tire pressure information is so right here is saying that the front tire should be 65 psi the rear tires should be 80 so right now the tires are overfilled with pressure and uh, at least on the front and we're gonna go ahead and start on the rear tires Let's see trigger so we're really close on the rear almost 80 psi but the fronts are over have too much air in them so I'm going to do the other tire here and that one is 70 okay that one is 75 okay so that's 75 so just to give you an idea of what these sensors look like this is a replacement sensor this is actually one of Autel's replacement sensors you can go to the dealership and get their specific sensor but this sensor here is from Autel it covers 300 and 400 so it's a universal sensor so um, it measures everything and transmits that back I think these last about four or five well I think five or six years uh, and then you replace them so but yeah so pretty much um, that's what it looks like to do a quick scan of the vehicle um, and then if we want to we can click diagnostics and pull data off of the OBD2 port and see if it has any information okay so what we do see here is that uh, between the sensor and the OBD2 port um, everything looks to be green here everything looks to be green it does say one DTC right here so I'm gonna click detail and actually see what it says okay so it looks like uh, it does have a code and that code does um, look like the fob the fob the keyless fob is uh, saying performance so it could be that it sees it as a problem and that's why it actually gave us that code the fob fob one performance um, I, I'm gonna probably have to rebuild all those keys or get new keys um, uh, one of them I think it was in really bad shape when I got this truck so I'm probably gonna end up going with a genuine Mopar push button start retrofit um, so I'm just kind of nursing the keys along but that's probably what I'm gonna do with this truck but yeah so now that I've done all of this and uh, pulled all the codes I'm going to um, send this information to myself so now that we've gone back to the main menu we're gonna go here to, to send this report to ourselves report and it has all, all our information if we want we can fill in the rest of this stuff a tire pressure adjustment of course that you know technically needs to be done because uh, the pressure is actually too high somebody overfilled the tires uh, 2014 and if anything else I need to do I can do it here as well because with the vehicle summary it gives the DTC code for the uh, fob the key fob which as we saw does not work and it gives information one of the things I forgot to mention about this device is that you can um, use a tire and brake check tool that uh, it has its own little screen and you can literally scan the tire and see how deep the treads are and it'll actually show up here so not only are you checking your tire TPMS sensors but you're also checking your tire condition uh, the DOT number of course you can scan that um, personally I wouldn't use all of that here I don't really have a need for all that um, it's not really something I'd 
I mean, I can physically look and see for myself if my tires are uh, not are worn out. Um, and by the way, um, on these tires here, you can see the wear markers here. So the, t the tread is tighter than the wear marker. So I don't need that, but technically you can do that here. And it shows information about each um, wheel. Um, and then when you're done, you just send it to yourself. You can hit your recipients and then hit send and then it sends it to you. So we'll we'll go back and take a look at some of these reports and uh, I can kind of show you what they all look like. Basically after I text myself a couple of times for the different reports, this is kind of what I see in my text messages. Uh, the Autel Cloud sends out a link to your um, your actual reports so all you got to do is tap the link and it brings you right into the report so that's very useful um, some I, I notice a lot of the newer uh, scan tools that use um, Android they don't usually have that function at least right now but this is very good that they have this so uh, you can see where the 2012 Ford Transit and the 2012 Nissan Leaf are right there for me to use and so you know you can easily send it to whoever has a phone number so uh, we'll go ahead and look at these uh, different reports okay so the first uh, report that we'll start with is from this 2012 Ford Transit Connect van uh, initially the vehicle started out um, I didn't even know it really even had a TPMS uh, sensor in each wheel uh, but I was driving one day and I noticed that the TPMS light did come on uh, I pulled into a gas station um, check the air pressures and in my opinion all the air pressures were normal it was around 32 psi so I didn't really know what was wrong with it so I just assumed that it's probably something wrong with the batteries in one of the wheels or something like that so um, wasn't until I actually got the uh, the uh, Autel TPMS scanner that I was able to pull that information and uh, as you can see here, the TPMS status that it gives is check tire pressure status, left front, right front, rear, uh, right rear, left rear, adjust all tire pressures to placard, relearn needed. So I looked in the door and sure enough, the front air pressure is actually supposed to be between 36 and 40 PSI and the rear is supposed to be around almost 50 PSI. So if you look here, you'll notice uh, it is uh, saying 221 kPa, which actually this was before I changed over the measurements to PSI. So on this report, it's showing kPa, but that actually that actually is about 32 PSI. So um, you can see here where the the computer is saying that the the serial numbers match between what is actually coming out of the sensor serial number and what the OBD2 sensor, uh, um, what the computer expects to see from each wheel. So that's why it says match right here. Uh, so the batteries are good. Uh, it says pressure is normal, but uh, that's probably why the light is on because the pressures are just too low. I just assumed 32 was good enough. Uh, but that's not true. So that's why I say you kind of got to, you know, check your air pressure um, on the side of the door to see what it's supposed to be. So uh, all four wheels look good. Um, only thing I got to do is basically inflate it to make the light go off. So that was easy. <laughs> um, the next vehicle is the 2012 Nissan Leaf. So this vehicle here. Uh, is an interesting vehicle. It it the light is not on, the TPMS light is not on. Uh, but when I hooked up the Autel scanner to it, what I noticed is that uh, it did show that a relearn was needed. So in some cases, uh, sometimes when people swap out their wheels and tires, they put the wheel or the tire, or I'm sorry, they put the wheel on a different side of the vehicle than it technically was supposed to be on in the first place so that kind of 
is, uh, you know, makes it where the TPMS, T- TPMS system says the left front wheel when really now you have another wheel, the sensor's on the wrong side of the car. So when I scan the vehicle, all four of these wheels are mismatched. Uh, so technically what I'll need to do is go back in with the system and, and just kind of rescan it and say, this is the left wheel, this is the right wheel, and, you know, same thing on the back. Uh, but technically the pressures are normal um, and the batteries are okay in the sensors. Um, and then you can see here where I am using PSI now. So um, other than that, um, the system looks good, but I would have never known that, you know, uh, there was a mismatch between the actual positions of the sensors on the vehicle. I would have never known that. So, uh, and then here it gives the OE part numbers as well. So, uh, yeah, it it looks good. And by the way, they have a, uh, when they give you these, they have a, a QR code that they put right here. So you can scan it and pull it up on your phone if you need to. But, uh, yeah, this is a very comprehensive report. I, I really like it. I like the fact that all this stuff can be, you know, sent to any um, phone number via text and, you know, the Autel Cloud just sends out that PDF and that's it. So, uh, I really like that. So, um, I'm really happy with the tool. I think it's a pretty good tool. Uh, a lot of updates coming out on it. Uh, initially, this was not, I think the phone number thing where you could text a phone number, that was not initially something you could do. It wasn't until I updated the tool. So, that's a recent update that they came out with. So now not only can you send an email, but you can also send a text message to give this information, uh, you know, to yourself and print it out. So it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, some people, I know a lot of people out there that live in colder states, you know, they may want to swap their wheels out with a set of winter tires. Uh, this tool is good for that because you can just simply do the relearn and pick pick back up those sensors on those other wheels that you have that you just put on the vehicle. Uh, it's good for that. Um, and like I say, if you need those other f- functions that it allows, uh, such as the battery or the brake discs or the tires, uh, you can do that as well. Um, but uh, the only thing I think is kind of not really what I like about it is that the Wi-Fi sensor on it is a little bit weak. Uh, in order to read the DOT numbers on the tires, it does require you to have an internet connection. Uh, but I notice it just it doesn't seem to do as well as other Wi-Fi devices. So that's one of the things I notice about it. But uh, as long as you're somewhere near Wi-Fi, that part does work. And otherwise, it does work. So, um, you know, for now, I think it's all I need. So uh, if you don't need all the other features like uh, the scanning, the OBD2 port, you can probably save yourself some money and just not get the pro version. I think you save like about a hundred and twenty dollars or something like that. Uh, but if you need it, then you know uh, you can always update the scan tool by uh, using your Autel account and paying for that feature. And it'll update your scan tool to have all those features. Uh, but but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. So um, hopefully, we'll be back with another review.